What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Today, we're talking about Tyreek Hill. He's a very talented uh, wide receiver, super fast. He's really improved in the route running ability. Great athlete. But the guy has a lot of problems. Um, he got kicked out of Oklahoma State. You know, uh, then he ended up going to somewhere like West Georgia. <clears throat> And people knew that he had talent, but they really didn't want to give him the opportunity. So he fell all the way to the fifth round in that year's draft. He played like running back, wide receiver, both, right? So, but he made a name for himself in Kansas City. And that's how we know of Tyreek Hill of today. We know that Tyreek Hill is an amazing talent, right? But here is something that we also know. Tyreek Hill has a lot of off the field issues. It stops him in college, it's stopping him now, right? Now let's just also say this, once Tyreek Hill left the Chiefs, they went and won back-to-back -back Super Bowls, right? So let's just talk about that. So while he's a difference maker, it's not that much of a difference maker, right? Let me kind of get back to the situation with Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill has like three or four kids at the same time. <clears throat> He's been selling out of court for all these ladies he has pregnant. All of them were either like very mixed or Latina looking. So basically what it looks like to me is you've worked all your life to get to where you are right now, just so you can go out and have all this sex with these ladies who wouldn't want you otherwise. All right, got it. But remember he filed for divorce and he said it was a misunderstanding, right? He, he, he married this chick, filed for divorce like a month later. And he's like, no, my lawyer messed up. I'm firing the lawyer. All of that, right? Nope. We found out that, that was a lie. How do we know this? Because his wife, last name Vaccaro, did this. No. She told investigators that she refused to sign the post up agreement after they got married. All right? She felt bullied, threatened, and verbally abused. She also reported that Hill smashed an unlit cigar in her face. The Dolphins player said he flicked the cigar, but denied it striking her, okay? Hill also said that he and Vaccaro had been arguing a lot lately because his representatives advised him to have a post-nuptial agreement in place. Officers didn't notice any visible marks on Vaccaro's face or body, and there were no signs of struggle in home. Due to conflicting stories and no evidence, evidence that a crime had occurred, no arrest was made, okay? Now, also, a model also said that Tyreek Hill broke her leg in the backyard, in his backyard, while trying to show her how to do football drills. All right? Now, let me just say this. My guy, why did you want to marry her in the first place? Okay? Why did you want to marry her in the first place? First place. You wanted her to sign a post nuptial agreement. The lady doesn't want to sign it. You want to know why? First of all, the lady doesn't have anything to offer, probably. Somebody like you. The reason why you're making her sign it is because you feel like, hey, she don't have very much to offer me. Which means, in my honest opinion, you shouldn't have married her in the first place. That's what it is, okay? You shouldn't have her, married her in the first place. Why you married her? I don't know. You thought she loved you like that, bro? Is that what you thought? Well, then you find out that she doesn't want to comply because it means less resources for her now you're upset when well, the reality is it's nothing to be upset about this is what you wanted and a lot of these guys could have gotten and I, I, I don't mean i understand marriage is important right for families and all that but bro the other chicks you've been dealing with you're getting kids from them and you're not giving them anything but child support so what makes this person different obviously you don't really respect her that much because if you did you wouldn't have these other kids going around so she's trying to protect herself with your money. Yeah, your money you worked hard for. So if you have that money to work hard for, why would you marry her? Okay, here's what men should never do, all right? And I'm noticing this as I'm getting older. If you ever feel that a woman is not on your level, if she can't give anything to you that you would like, wanna know what you can do? Never deal with them seriously. Don't have kids with them. If you can avoid it, don't even have sex with them. If you can avoid it, right? We understand that things happen. But one thing you should never consider is for a person who doesn't understand hard work, 
They don't understand what you have been through. You feel like that person might use you for what you have, which is most likely the case. Then why would you, why would you engage that person? It makes no sense to engage that person. It just doesn't. I would not engage that person either. If I felt to the point, well, you know what? This lady doesn't care about me. This woman doesn't love me. This lady doesn't like, like me at all. I'm not going to do that. All right. Look, Hey, we have some time together, but Hey, I'm going to be on the condoms and all this. I'm not going to be shooting the club up because you know what they're going to do. They're going to have the baby. And then guess what? That's when the party starts. Want to know why? You're different from each other. Athletes who are Super Bowl winning athletes, they have a lot of discipline. Usually outside of the bedroom. The woman that you're that you're dealing with, you probably didn't require her to do anything. So she's gonna still be partying out there being an Instagram model and then having your kids around whoever else you don't know anything about. All right. This is the part that you're gonna have to talk about. And guys get upset about it. Well, why did you pick her? There are other ladies that you could deal with. Here's the problem that men don't understand. We would have to step our game up too. And that would mean stepping up our game up with things not to do with sports, okay? We would have to step our game up in ways that has to do with morality and more personal discipline. Not just, you know, clapping cheeks because somebody is thick, all right? We would have to do that, which we fundamentally would have a problem with because we like clapping cheeks. And then get mad when the lady's acting like, oh, I love you so much. Oh, I want to be with you. Oh, I can't may, I can't wait to have you. And we think that's actually serious until you find out that, hey, this lady is trying to get resources too. And you're a ticket to making her have an easier life. That's the problem that rich men go through. Okay. That's the problem that rich, successful men go through. You're dealing with somebody who looks at life in that capacity. Okay. You didn't get her based on, you know, certain skill sets or certain things. You got her based on the fact that she looks very good. This is what you want, all right? And you don't expect her to do anything for you. Now you want her to be with you after marrying her. And now you want her to be with you. Now you want her to be taking you seriously. Are you seriously? Like, are you serious? You can't be serious. You cannot be serious. All right? So. You've already married her already. And you know, you're cheating on her, having other babies. So it's not like she's gonna just respect you. That ain't gonna happen. She gonna get what she can get from you when the divorce comes and whatever. So why be upset with her? If you wouldn't dealt with her in the first place, you wouldn't have that issue. Trust me guys, I'm talking to myself during this process too, right? We all make these mistakes. So guys, we you think it's your boy, Shady, oh, Shady Jackson, back at it again. The episode of Celebrity Junk. Put your fire to subscribe to the bell. We're out.